Hi. Now, when it comes to this part C, where we've got to determine the nature of the stationary point, giving a reason for our answer, we've got two options. We can either go for the quickest method, in my opinion, for this question, which is to substitute x equals 2 into d2y by dx squared and check to see whether we get a positive value, in which case it will be a minimum, or if we get a negative value, it will be a maximum. But if we get zero, it will be inconclusive and we'll need to take it further. OK, or the other way is to do a gradient table and check it out there. I'll show you both methods. OK, so if we decided just to substitute x equals 2 into d2y by dx squared, let's just do that method and check for the sign that we get. Let's put here that when x equals 2, we'll put therefore d2y by dx squared equals, and if we do that, we've got 36 times 2 squared minus 48 times 2. And if you work this out, 36 times 4 minus 96 here, the total comes out to be 48, which is clearly greater than 0. So what we've got then is therefore a minimum. OK, so a min OK, at x equals 2. So that's one way of doing it. The other way is by looking at a table of the gradients. And if I was doing a table, let's just say we draw it up something like this. I would take my point x. We know that it's got a stationary point when x equals 2. I'll take a point to the left and a point to the right. So let's say we take x equals 1 and x equals 3. I'd look at the gradient given by dy by dx. And then I would look at the slope. Let's just put it down here. So we know that when x equals 2, dy by dx is 0. So therefore, as far as the slope goes on the curve, the tangent would be horizontal. If I have x equals 1 and I substitute it into here, I'm going to end up with 12 minus 24, which is going to be negative value. Negative 12. I'll just put negative there, OK? And then if we substitute x equals 3 into here for dy dx, you get 108, a positive value. So when it comes to looking at the slope, the gradient, you can see that on the left we've got a negative gradient, which means it's going to be going downwards, the curve. And then on the right of x equals 2, at x equals 3, you've got a positive slope, a positive gradient, which is going to go up something like that. So as far as the curve goes, it's going to be a curve that sits in here, something like that. Not well drawn, but hopefully it gets you the idea that what we have got is a minimum. So if I was concluding this one, I would obviously say a minimum, OK, at x equals 2. So I hope that's given you some idea then on how to do that part.